And there's times last year um, where me and Coach Cliff would talk about um, just getting out of the pocket when I didn't need to. Um, obviously, that's a big part of my game and, and what I do, but there's times where I can make it easier on myself. Um, the biggest thing throughout the spring is I felt like I've, I mean, I feel like things are slowing down um, for me more and more. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I always, I remember in high school how it slowed down. I remember hoping it would be that way in college and just hoping that things would get a little easier and you'd be able to see things pre-snap during the snap and seeing how things, seeing how things really work against the defense and, I mean, it's 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 slowed down, and for spring, that's been a that's been a big thing for me. It's trying to put us in the right play, try to put us in the right thing, so we can so we can move the ball, move fast, and, and score some touchdowns, hopefully. You know the the the, the website with the Ohio State Twitter thing. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what that was? Or I look it up. I don't. Do you, do you ever get to the bottom of what happened? Or? Yeah, I, I guess just some website, just some random sports website was trying to get um, some views on their page or trying to do something, and they just decided to Photoshop me in there and send it out to a bunch of websites, send it out on Twitter, and it, mm -hmm. it and then people were saying that I deleted the tweet and all this stuff when it never even happened. So I don't, I don't really know. And that was that was Sunday or on. In the it was whenever the it was Sunday were the basketball game. So the NCAA tournament. Yeah, Sunday not long night. after he had hit the shot. It was Sunday night, and then Monday, yeah. and then Monday um, before practice was when I. Had ever even seen it because I hadn't been on. I didn't get on at all Sunday. So pulled up Twitter and pulled up Twitter on Monday and just happened to scroll through and just kept seeing things about Aaron Kraft. I was just confused by it because I like the kid. Yeah. Do, do you sometimes wish you could have played in Bucky Richardson's era or something when they didn't have to deal with any <laughs> of the internet stuff? I might have been different. Yeah. I mean, I was talking to Brad, just Brad, the other day, talking about just media stuff and trying to almost thinking about getting to the point to where it was during last season to where I kind of almost didn't even do anything. I told him, be very picky with who I do things from now on because before I was like, okay, I just want people to like hear my story and hear what kind of person I am. And now me getting out there, um, I kind of get mixed around and tossed with whatever the kind of the media wants to portray me as. So now it's, uh, I feel like I have people um, who enjoy sitting down and just talking to me and interviewing me and I'm okay with that. But there's some people that don't have my best intentions, I believe. So you would consider going back on a sort of a self-imposed media? Yeah, just, I mean, even media, like, once every month or once every month and a half. There's, mm -hmm. You know, I don't really – for me, I'm trying to stay kind of out of the media as much as possible. It's crazy. I didn't even know that after I did that interview yesterday, someone was on the ticker. So, I mean, it's just yeah. – it's crazy. So, I mean, it's definitely – talk to Brad and talk to AC about slowing things down for sure. So when you when you stay off Twitter, how do you keep from the people approaching you, putting their arms around the pictures and the places when you when you do happen to be out because that's going to be on, you're just yeah. going to ignore. Yeah, just, that. I mean whatever is out there is out there. I mean I know on spring break, it, it, it goes back to taking the pictures with the the horns up or whatever. It was just some guy that goes to UT. I like, came hey, in, just picture for my dad. Where you just put your horns up. Mm -hmm. Sure, dude. Right. I, t I didn't ever deny anybody a picture in Cabo. Mm -hmm. I was just. Overall, everybody's on spring break. If you want to take a picture with me, if that's what you want, then yeah, I'll smile and take a picture. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I didn't ever think anything of it. And then there's stuff on TMZ, there's stuff on everything. When I get back, and people are just mm -hmm. trying to make it a big deal. So for me, I was just trying to just be nice and just take a picture with everybody I could and just enjoy spring break, just like everybody else was trying to do. Sure. Is it still surprising to you how all this is sort of, I don't know, morphed out of? At this time of year ago, you were just trying to win a job. Yeah, I know. And nobody really knew who you were. Yeah, it's crazy. Nationally, that, anyway. It's crazy how big of a roller coaster it's been, really, just from yeah. where I was last year at this point to where it is now, to just how things have changed so much. Last year, you couldn't, couldn't pay to get in the media. Now it's like, you can't pay to get out of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're headed to the NFL and they say, see, even if they're juniors, you know, maybe they declare early. So... How do you go about handling it? I mean, this is all new ground. I mean, yeah. you're the first guy to do it. Yeah, I mean, it's just, I don't really know how you uh, <laughs> how you handle it. I mean, just trying, the thing for me is not really think about it that way. It's just continue to live my life, and hopefully that's the way that you're supposed to do it. If not, then uh, I guess I did it wrong, and maybe somebody else will come through and do it right. I don't know. <laughs> Who do you get your best advice from? Uh, I mean, I talk to Coach someone, Coach Spav, talk to my parents, and just think for me is everybody's coming to my family and everybody's coming to my parents just to make sure that we're still close and we're still sticking together. Um, that's a big thing for us because I don't want any of this to uh, 
change my family or anything like that. It's just been, this is a blessing for everybody in my family and me as well. So just the biggest thing is enjoy it and don't, don't get caught up in too much of the stuff that's going on for me. So you never considered like dialing back some of the activities like you know, going to NBA games? Or for sure. I mean, for me, I never really, every time I go to one of those games, I don't go there to intend to be on that, yeah. to be on TV or for it to be, um, like on a story the next day. For me, I'm just, hey, the, the Heat play the Spurs coming up. I'm trying to go to that game. Like It's just, it could be like a 30-game win streak, of course. It's in Texas. Well, let's try and go. It's never going into it to try to avoid a story. It's just, hey, we don't have practice this day. I was just trying to go to the game. It's the kind of thing you used to do beforehand and people just didn't know about yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, it's not even that I didn't know about it. I was just, people just didn't care back then. Right. Yeah, I mean, I just... I mean, if the Rockets played somebody good that, or somebody that I wanted to see here, it was a good game and to play it for the playoffs or whatever it was, just drive down to Houston and go to a game. I wasn't doing anything wrong with the tickets, whatever. I've always got tickets to, to games like that, so let's just go. Yeah, I mean, I think people have a little bit of a, um, the idea that um, student athletes are paupers and don't have any money and don't have the wherewithal to go do that, and you're blessed with the ability yeah, to do those things. And that's, what I, that's the hard thing that's hard for me to explain. And, Prince sat here and obviously tried to explain it before because it's so hard. There's such a stereotype around student athletes that it's like almost that if, if you're doing anything that's that costs any money or you're doing anything, right. regardless if you've been doing it before, people always want to make a controversy out of it. So it's it's hard. Right. They think you're being given. Yeah. They're thinking it's it's uh, illegal. Right? They can't right. come to grips with the fact that I mean I've been blessed with family members or right. whatever that. I've had these opportunities, and I've always been able to do this. You know, when I covered the scrimmage the other day, I got over to Reed Arena to cover the women's game, and I get on the net, and I see that Johnny had punched a coach, uh, you know, hit a coach during mm-hmm. practice, and that's when I wrote at that point, this is what I saw. Yeah. So any – from your end in terms of just – I described it as yeah, the moment, just deal. for me – Yeah, uh, another thing that blew up. Yeah, you know? oh, it's yeah. – I mean, you all know how it is. It's going to blow up. But for me, um, I mean, the best way that I'll explain myself is – I mean, that was a – third down on like our last drive of the scrimmage of course we wanted to score they wanted to stop us um should have checked the ball out rolled to the right and and threw it and threw the pick and I guess the GA was just excited or something but he kind of gave me a shove and was excited and was laughing kind of about the play um and that just didn't set too well with me I mean I wasn't happy about throwing the pick he shoved me so I just kind of gave him just pushed him back it wasn't anything serious um he's not a I don't consider him a coach um me and him haven't exactly seen eye to eye uh, since we've been here, whether he's done things or I've done things. So for me, it wasn't anything serious. It was just both, or just me being competitive, not being happy with the outcome of the play. It wasn't being, it wasn't being like I was just trying to be disrespectful right. or anything like that. It was just one of those spur of the moment things that happen in football games. You're gonna do that. You should punch a member of the media. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm the one who's around here. Don't say that, George. Well, that's what I meant. Yeah. <laughs>